Don't call me black no more, cause it ain't facts no more We disagree mentally, don't whip our backs no more When I tell that to my people that say I'm hating them folks And I ain't never burning cross, I hung nobody with no They make mockery of us, they say I'm people that choke Come and come live in the ghetto, so I struck out on dope Question, why do we always sit in love with the folks who brought us up We don't vote to keep them chains on our parts, huh? Making to most got us working in fields instead of picking cotton to your plants and meals. They got us running up and down on the football field. Put your bed in our protest because you enslaved or steal. You can put your hands on the you can still get killed. You can never be a killer, you can't retire. They know this. Black Panther came up in the Hey, real quick, let me get John 7 and 38. Now, you're, you're confused. You said that this is Christ, correct? Okay. Who told you that this was Christ? Who told you that? Think about it. Who taught us? Well, I'll say us. Who taught us? Because just like yourself, how old are you? You're 35. So you grew up with that image right there in the house, right? So did I. I grew up, my grandma had that hanging on the wall. She had that hanging on the wall. I've even seen this one. We're not used as a people to seeing this. It's kind of hard for us to grasp that the most important man that ever walked the earth looks just like you. That's right. Same color skin, same color beard, same color hair, everything. He looks just like you. It is, it is, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's, it, it is historically inaccurate for this color man to live amongst these color people and not be pointed out. He would have been an oddball. He would have been like a sore thumb. You get what I'm saying? Let me read this for you. The book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly, shall flow rivers of living water. So we're not making this up. It says, he that believeth on me as the what? As the scripture said, say it. As the Bible has said. So that's what the brother's doing. He's showing you the depiction of Christ in the Bible. It's just like this. If the police was going around here and they was looking for a man with a black do-rag, a gray hat, a black shirt, blue jeans, and black boots, who does that fit? Who did I just describe? Who out here fits that description? You do. You see what I'm saying? If you describe something, you, you should automatically get a, an image in your head. Let's go back to Revelation. That's why it's very important for us. And a lot of people may think, well, what's the big deal if we believe that Jesus Christ is white? The reason why it's a big deal is because, what's your name? James? I'm Khalil. It's just like this, James. If I see you, just like when I saw you walking over here, I didn't see a nigga. I didn't see my enemy. I saw him. And this is the thing. If a lot of our people see Christ in each other, the shootings in Shreveport would go down. The stealing would go down. The robbing would go down. Us trying to have sex with each other's wives when we're at work and when we're not home will go down. The crime rate in general would go down. Why? Because we would see Christ in each other. Just like if you look in the mirror and you look at this depiction, it's almost the same exact image. That's why it's important. Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. James, what color is your beard? It's white. So even by your mouth, what color is this guy's beard? It's black. What color is this guy's beard? It's like a brown black, right? Read that again. His head and his hair were white. It says what color? What color was it? It was white. What color is this guy's beard? What color is your beard? You see what I'm saying? So this depiction, even right here, written in the Bible, it's not there. Because remember, John 7 and 38 said, He that believeth on me as the scripture has said. 
Not as the guys in purple say, not as your pastors say, but as the Bible says. And you said it yourself. This depiction right here, it says his beard was what color? What color is this guy's beard? It's black. So they're not matching according to what this says, right? Let's keep reading. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. What color is this guy's eyes? No. What color what color is this guy's eyes right here? The whites of his eyes. The whites. You know, you have the pupil and then you have the rest of the eye. What color are the whites of his eyes? James, do you drink any? You don't drink at all? Have you ever drank at all? Have you been around somebody that drinks? And this is the thing with us. When we drink, what color do the whites of our eyes turn? Red. What color are the whites of his eyes? What color are the whites of this guy's eyes? No, they're not. Come closer. Come closer. What color are the whites of his eyes? They're white. What color are the whites of his eyes? What color is that? That's not white. James, are you messing with me? You just said the answer a minute ago. What color is this? I'm confusing you? Okay, when a person drinks, what color do their eyes turn? Red, right? Yeah, give me that. The book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. This is talking about Christ. It says his, his eyes shall be red with what? Wine. That's why I asked you earlier, James, did you, do you drink or do you know anybody that drinks? Hey, bro, what's your name? Robert. 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 You drink, right? You don't drink? I get older, my man. Bro, it's okay to drink. Christ the, the black messiah drank. Now That's wrong right. Get drunk. Give me that. Give me that. That's the thing. He turned what? Wait, wait, wait. He said. So, so think about it. Oh, you said you said your name is Robert, right? Now, Robert, if if the Bible says it's wrong to drink, right? Wait, 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 wait. I'm going by what you said. Now I'm saying if. I'm saying if. Hypothetically. I, just ride with me for a minute. If the Bible says it's wrong to drink, why would Christ turn water into wine? Okay, what did you say? Maybe I heard you wrong. Okay. No. Because. And that's why I was saying, it's okay to drink. You just can't get drunk. That's why I said, the Christ the Black Messiah, he drank, but he didn't get drunk. I'm going to show you. This is the book of Luke, chapter 7, verse 34. The Son of Man. Who's the Son of Man? It's come eating and drinking. Wait a minute. Drinking what? And, I, and ye say, behold, a gluttonous man and a wine bibber. What was Jesus drinking? A wine bibber. This is what the Pharisees, this is what the Pharisees called him. Because every time they saw Christ, he was what? And, and a wine bibber. Uh, the son of man is come eating and drinking. Every time the Pharisees saw him, they said, look, here come a gluttonous man and a wine bibber. Why? Because every time they saw this brother, he was eating and drinking. Now, did he get drunk? Check, check this out. You did he get drunk? Well, hold on. Check Wait, this out. answer my question, Robert. I'm, I'm going to get with you. I'm going to talk to you. I don't know if he got drunk or not, but check this out. Is, hold on. Is getting drunk a sin, yes or no? Yeah, to me it is. Did Christ ever commit a sin, yes or no? No, he was perfect. So that means he didn't get drunk. But that's that's right. right. Check this out. I'm hold listening hold to hold you. On, I'm listening on. to Listen, you. Hear me out. You see, when I, I just walked up here, uh -huh. you asked me, said, hey, you drank, don't you? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That was a question. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. So... No, because he was drinking wine. Because it's, it's recorded in the scriptures, but we just read it to you. You don't believe that? Oh, I mean, it's written in the Bible. Hey, James, check that, check that number out on that flyer, bro. Now, the reason why I'm saying that, because not only is it written in the Bible, let's go back to Genesis, where it says his eyes shall be red Bring with it wine. Out. Let's go back to that. Because all throughout the Bible, it talks about Christ. And it explains in the front of the Bible why his eyes were red in the back of the Bible. It's not something that we made up. So, I mean, why, why they were red? 
Let's read it again. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. That's why. And because that's the thing, as a lot of us didn't know that. Because in church, we're taught that, oh, it's evil to drink. It's not evil to drink. It's evil to get drunk. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Now, if you choose not to drink, I'm not saying that you have to drink. I'm not saying that. Because I myself, I don't drink. It's okay to have wine. It's okay to have wine. It's okay to drink a little. But that's what I'm saying. The whole point of the conversation is you're not supposed to get drunk. Liquor is wine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You just can't get drunk. Now, Robert, Robert, don't miss the point. If you choose not to drink, we're not saying that you have to. I'm not saying that you have to. Now, the whole point of the conversation was, why were the whites of his eyes red? It's because he drank wine in moderation. Now, what we were doing, what I was doing with the brother that was standing here, I was doing a comparison. So, who were, how old are you, Robert? I just turned 41 today. Just turned 41. Okay. Now, me and you, we about the same age. Who were we taught that this guy right here was? Exactly. That's why I said, who were we taught that this guy was? Yeah, they, 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 they said that, that this is Christ, yeah, right? Yeah, so, who is this guy right here? That's a black man with a, with a, with a, uh, a crown around his head. Okay. So, okay, so, by the description that you just gave, if I was to ask you which one biblically is Christ, which one biblically matches the description of Christ? Do you know? Okay. Okay, I, now that's good. That's what I like to hear. If you don't know, just say you don't know. Let's go to Revelation. I'm going to show you. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Hold on, hold on. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Man. He gave me an earache, man. Do what? He gave me an earache, man. Well, yeah, just stand on this side. Stand on this side. Now, but this is the thing, Robert. I want you to be close enough to where you can see the pictures. Keep reading with you got. His head and his head were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. Hey, Robert. Yes, sir. What, what color is brass? Oh, it's kind of like the color that, uh... Color that cardboard box kind of started. Okay, okay, that's 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 very close. Give me that Good. sign right there. I'm gonna show you a cut the color of brass. Hey, come here real quick. All right, hold on. Give me give me one second. All right. See, and this this is the reason why it's important for us to know the color of Christ. Because just like I was telling the brother that was standing here, if we see Christ in each other, then we will be less likely to do harm to each other. Hold that. Give me Leviticus. You know what I want. Leviticus 19.17. Give me Leviticus 19.17. Because us as a people, we got to do better. You men out here, we got to do better. Man, no us men, we got to we gotta do better. It don't matter what color you in, though. Yes, it does. If you're in, hey, white, brown, green. Come closer. You Come closer, bro. Why are you screaming yeah. from way back there? Come closer. Cause, I want to talk to you. So loud. It don't matter what color you in. Okay. Now, why am I saying black men? First off, why am I saying that? I don't know, but black, green, orange, I've never met a green or orange person. If you don't do what God says, do it. don't mean nothing. Well, you know what? You know what? You're partially right. Because we're not talking about flesh. We're talking about your nationality. Hey, sis, right here from Southern Classic. You know your nationality? Dang, I could get a head nod or something. You got to just ignore me. See, that's what we're trying to fix. Our people don't want to know who they are. Right. And you know that's the funny thing? Is that we're the greatest people to walk the earth, but we don't care. That's right. right. And a lot of us don't know. Matter of fact, go ahead and drop Leviticus real quick. I'm going to just come back to it. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Bring it out. We're the greatest people to walk the face of the earth, and we do not care. You got our brothers walking by, they, we do not care. But if we was out here giving away free money, we would have a line from here all the way down to the interstate. Bring it out. Read what you got. It's the book of Isaiah. Chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's queer. But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. 
our people don't even consider who they are. You tell them you're African American, they roll with it. Not right. knowing that African and American are two different white guys. Right. I heavily doubt anybody's out here is the result of gay sex. I'm sorry. Right. Now, Robert, back to you. What up? Now, remember we were talking about the, the, the let's go back to the description of Christ. Because you said what color is bronze? About the color of the box. Now this is what I wanted to show you. Come here real quick. That's why I said you're close. Robert, you, you paying attention? There you go. This this right here is the color of bronze. So that's what I'm saying. You were close. Brass. Man, brass, bronze, same family. It's a brownish metal. It's, it's in, that's why I said the same family. Yeah, it's not the it's, same it's a, is it a, What color is brass? I told you it's like the color, about the color of that. that, that color of the box, color, right? Box. Yeah. Okay, now what color is bronze? Bronze is like the color of a penny. Okay, now are yeah. both of those brown? Uh, I guess you could say so. That's why I said same family. They're in the same color group. Come on, Robert, bro, you smart, bro. Come on, don't don't do that. I know you smart, so don't, don't play some matches. I'm just saying, no, they, but they not. I I get what you're saying, but let's meet each other halfway. I know what you're saying. Don't play semantics with me. It's like y'all y'all so focused on race, man. Because we're not focused on race. We're focused on nationality. That's right. I mean, what? And let me tell you why we're focused on nationality. Because Christ, the Black Messiah, is focused on nationality. That's right. The Bible is focused on nationality. Right. It's not us. Man, hey, man. Hey, man, what? Yeah, yeah. Because if I was to sit here and make this bold statement that white folks are not going to get into heaven, they're not going to get the kingdom, that right now you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're in slavery right now. Right. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. We're a slave. We Just I'm, like I, right now, Robert, you're in the midst of sin and you don't even know it. Right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a slave to sin. We all slaves. No, we are not all slaves to sin. Yes, we're in we slavery to the other nations. Amen. Just like right now, like I said, I made a bold statement, Robert. You're in the midst of sin right now and you don't know it. Why? Because we were not taught these things. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Amen. You know? I'm going to show you. Hey, check this out. You going to go take my girl her food? Take your girl her food. Yeah. That's I, another I, sin because we're not exactly. supposed to have girlfriends. Yeah, exactly. You're supposed to have wives. Exactly. 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 So exactly. why do you have a girlfriend? Hey, because, I, I mean, I'm, I'm still working on it, boss, man. No, that's an easy fix. Yeah. You can fix that tomorrow. The courthouse right. is open tomorrow, right? How long y'all been together? Hey, man, I mean, that's personal. I don't want to discuss How long y'all been together? I don't want to discuss that out here, man. You know? Well, I'm not asking for your, the, your social security number. Yeah, I mean, but that's personal. Have y'all been together over a year? I mean, that's personal, man. Do you plan on leaving him? I mean, that's personal, man. That's personal? Yeah, you man. Let me tell you what's personal is us being in slavery because brothers don't want to get right. Hey, that's Being married is not an issue. We're taught by the enemy that you shouldn't be married. Hey, right. But this is the funny thing. Hey. White folks, they promote marriage amongst them. Give me Hebrews 13 and 4. Hey, hey, I gave you an opportunity Everybody to talk. You, I asked you questions you and you said you didn't want to answer. Correct. So that's the Everybody reason, Robert, it is correct. very important for us to get married. That's I, why I was I, asking I, you, I with you, bro, if you don't plan percent. on leaving the system, marry you. Hey, I, I, I agree with you. Read what you got. It's the book of Hebrews. Hey, I'm, you know what? I'm glad you agree with me. I'm glad that you do. And I'm not being sarcastic. But, Robert. We as a people, it starts hey. with the men. We gotta fix it first. Hey, I, I, All the hey. brothers that you see up here, we don't have girlfriends. We hey. have wives. Uh, That's, I, I That's why I'm asking you, Robert. I, how long you been hey. together with the hey. woman? Hey. You having sex with her? Let me take my future wife. Not future. Her food. Man. Future as far as what? Tomorrow? Let, let, you gonna fix it tomorrow, right? Maybe in the next thirty minutes. Courthouse ain't open right now, bro. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. Right. Read what you got. Oh, hey, Robert, listen to this while you walk off. Listen to this. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers. Wait a minute, Robert. It says, but whoremongers, but whoremongers, and adulterers, God will judge. That's those boyfriend and girlfriends. That's that hot girl summer. That's them thoughts. That's them players. God is going to judge you. Make it play. And, and how do you, what do you mean judge? That means you can get different STDs. Robert, hey, bro, fix it. You got a flyer, right? Okay, cool. If you got any questions, anything, bro, all of our stuff is online and it's free. If you notice, that's why we don't have no buckets out here. We're not asking for no money. We just want our people to change. 
We want our people to start doing better. Because guess what? These churches, they lying to us, Robert. What what's what's the truth of God? The truth of God is following God's commandments, Robert. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.